guys. So as you can see, we got most of the top end stuff off. I now have to basically take out the V-bands for the uh, exhaust manifolds on both sides. I will have to take off this uh, turbo, obviously the uh, downpipe with the uh, teardrop, uh, my exhaust pipe, whatever you want to call it, and obviously disconnect my O2 sensor. But it's fairly simple. It's pretty easy. As you guys know, these motors are really simple. Make sure you do one thing. Thanks, I guess, for that. But make sure you guys do one thing. Clean up your motor, throw a little piece of paper or whatever inside your cylinders, you know, for your valves and whatnot. You'd rather get a piece of paper sucked in your motor and spit back at you than a bolt. I'll be one to tell you that. I've seen it happen before. It's not fun and it's not a pretty shell. So yeah, take a little TP, take it, shove it in there. Make sure you don't have anything getting sucked down in there. If you got a bunch of junk in here, obviously take a vacuum, clean it up, take some parts cleaner, wipe it down. If you ever had to take this thing apart again, you will thank yourself next time. Get to the clicker and stain your dip. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah. This one is thick for here. Hmm, I don't know, maybe it's stupid. Supposed to be like that. It is not supposed to be like that. So there is where our leak was. There was coolant leaking into the cylinder. Alright guys, so it's been a little while since uh, that last clip, so basically the car is happy, the engine has like 150 uh, PSI compression on all the cylinders, it's not pressurizing the coolant system anymore, it doesn't even get up to 180, even when you put it on the brake two, three times, no problem. Now the issue I am having now is I'm still having a smoking issue. Now when you rev the car up, when the RPMs are coming down, it lets out a little bit of white smoke. Now there's only two things left to that, well two things basically three that we're going to try. I'm going to try and put an oil restrictor on the turbo to try and restrict some of the oil because when this car is at watt, it tops out the gauge that's only 100 PSI and it just keeps on going. So I would say it makes like 150 or so PSI oil pressure when at watt. But when you put it on the chip, it's around 90, 95. So that's a lot of oil pushing out of here. And I have tested it with a jug. It fills up about a half gallon of, uh, you know, oil gallon uh, in about... 20 seconds i would say it fills up about a half gallon which is obviously three quarts of oil or almost three quarts of oil so you think about that there's a lot of oil getting pushed through this 4 and line through the turbo and then having to go down into the drain the drain is a dash 10 so i wouldn't think that's the issue we thought it was turbo seals i'm not seeing any oil coming out of the exhaust housing i had a little bit of oily substance out of the compressor housing but like i said we're gonna try the restrictor see if that helps it if that doesn't, we are going to then move on to most likely being these Snake Eater Performance 1500cc injectors are probably a culprit for most of my issues, probably since we put this thing together. These are not the best injectors on the market. They are not the worst injectors on the market, but they did work for what we, you know, did. So I'll probably be switching to a set of Bosch T10 injectors, you know, buy once, cry once. So that'll be the fix for that. And I won't ever have to worry about my injectors having being a problem. But yeah, that's the only thing we have. We just have a little bit of smoke literally on RPM D cell. Besides that, car gets up on the chip, you know, shoots flames, bang, bang, pop, pop. Well, bang, bang, uh, skeet, skeet. You know, all that shit. And it does everything it needs to. And it's not pressurizing this. I have plenty of compression, new set of plugs, all this stuff's good to go. So, you know, you live, you learn. Little small things. So 
that's about it hope you guys enjoyed this video so yeah next video you'll see i put an oil stricker restrictor on this to uh lower down the oil pressure going through that turbo we will then move on to ch changing out injectors and then if that doesn't work out we will go and look at these damn valve stems one more time and the oil drain line but that is it other than that there's nothing more to it i can't do anything else to it really but hope you guys enjoyed today's video and go down like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one